This is Jim from PCTEL. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to set up a G-Flex indoor kit. The kit is shown here. It consists of the G-Flex scanning receiver, the backpack, the USB cable, the dual battery power pack, the power cable, and antennas which vary according to the kit that you purchased. Today, I have with me the millimeter wave antenna, the 600 megahertz to 8.5 gigahertz indoor antenna, a horizontally polarized antenna, and the GPS antenna. First check that the batteries are installed inside the battery pack. Next, check that your battery pack is sufficiently charged. This is done by turning on the battery pack and reading the display. Note that when charging the batteries, the power must be turned on. Connect the power cable to the battery pack. Next, install the battery pack into the backpack and secure it with the straps that have the blue indicators. Next, install the G-Flex scanning receiver into the backpack and secure with the remaining straps. Connect the one millimeter long SMA cables to the RF1 port and the RF2 port if required for LTE MIMO, 5G and R dual polarization, or to cover a wide range of frequencies with multiple antennas. Next, connect the power cable to the power connector on the G-Flex scanning receiver. So next we'll be connecting up the cables and the antennas to the G-Flex scanning receiver. We'll start off with the communications cable. The small end of the communications cable is inserted through the grommet at the top of the backpack and connected to the COM port on the G-Flex scanning receiver. The other end of the cable will be connected to your laptop. Next, we'll connect up the GPS antenna. The GPS antenna will be inserted into this pocket that is at the top of the backpack in this flap. Note that the PCTEL logo must be pointed towards the sky when the flap is closed. So we'll insert it into the flap. And then the connector end of the cable is again inserted through the same grommet that the communications cable was inserted into. I'll now wind up the slack of the cable.
And I'll now connect up the cable to the GPS port on the G-Flex scanning receiver. Next, I'll start connecting up the antennas to the bridge on the backpack. First, starting with the indoor antenna, which goes to the SMA connector here. In the event you are testing dual polarization for 5G NR networks, we have a connector in the center using a horizontally polarized antenna. This connects into the end type connector at the center of the bridge of the backpack. In the event you are testing LTE MIMO, where two paddle antennas are required, you would not use the horizontally polarized antenna, but you'd use a second paddle antenna with a end type adapter to SMA. This would then be connected to this N-type connector here instead of the dual polarized, horizontally polarized antenna that is connected now. And finally, we'll connect up the millimeter wave antenna. So first what we'll do is really remove this knob that holds the bridge in place. This knob can be stored here with this screw for safekeeping. The millimeter wave antenna is then placed onto this screw. And the way this is connected is you rotate the pole counterclockwise. The cable is then connected to the millimeter wave port on the G-Flex scanning receiver. The excess, excess slack of the cable can be constrained with the clip that is attached to one of the poles. So next what I'll do is I'll adjust the height of the poles to the desired height for, back, for the backpack when it's on your back. I'll then turn on the G-Flex scanning receiver. I will now zip up the backpack to keep the wires in place for safekeeping. I now take the flap on the top of the backpack and secure that in place. So the GPS antenna now is pointing up towards the sky. And now you are ready for testing with our G-Flex scanning receiver backpack solution. Thank you for watching.